Episode 213, Unexpected Guests. While Dan and Stephanie had worked for Star Arts for several years, neither had ever seen Scarlet so angry. They both looked around for a place to hide, both scared to tell Scarlet the truth, but there was nowhere to go. After hearing them explain what had happened, Scarlet was livid. You fools, she shouted. It's one thing to not convince somebody to sign. It's another thing to convince them to never sign with you at all. She continued yelling at them. Get out, leave now and go think about what you've done. So Dan and Stephanie stepped outside. The two stood shivering in the cold wind, uncertain what to do. With an apologetic expression, Scarlet said, Aiden, I am very sorry. This is not how I have trained my employees to behave. However, no matter what Scarlet said about the situation, Aiden's mind had been made up. He was not interested in hearing more from her. This frustrated Scarlet, and she couldn't help losing her patience. In her opinion, as the CEO of Star Arts, she should get some respect for personally coming to recruit Aiden. All she could do was frown at his indifferent attitude. Finally, she turned to Anthony who had been watching everything unfold. In a low voice, she asked him, Mr. K, Aiden listens to you, right? Perhaps you can help me. From Scarlet's perspective, Aiden would be subordinate to Anthony and he was also younger. If she could influence Anthony, you could get Aiden to listen. But to Scarlet's disappointment, Anthony just smiled, shook his head and said, don't look at me. I can't change Aiden's mind. It's not uncommon for me to ask him for help. Scarlet's mouth opened in shock. Aiden's impression of her kept changing. He realized that she wasn't a normal talent agent. As he tried to figure out what to make of her, there was another knock at the door. Who now? Aiden thought. Would this night never end? Aiden thought no matter who it was this time, he can't let them in. He decided that whoever it was, he was not letting them in. But the moment he opened the door, his resolve disappeared. Was it really the Wileses on the sidewalk? Arthur? Aunt Susie? He asked. They were not the ones who had knocked, however. Standing by the door was a sharp-eyed young man in a suit. When Aiden opened the door, the man had given him a standard military salute, then turned back to the street. There was a limousine there with the national flag on the front corners. Aiden remembered seeing the car when the restaurant opened. Arthur and Aunt Susie are both dressed in thick coats and Arthur was supporting Aunt Susie up the steps. Aiden could hear Aunt Susie speaking. While her voice was weak and didn't travel far, Aiden could just hear what she was saying. Don't help me, don't I have hands and feet here? She fussed. Aunt Susie was far more assertive than Aiden was used to seeing her. It must have been from being with Arthur for such a long time. She scolded Arthur for a while, but Arthur helped her without any expression. He had no intention of letting go of her and said, I've helped you for decades and I've never felt embarrassed about it. Why are you embarrassed? Watching them quarrel on the steps, Aiden couldn't help but smile and shake his head, then offer to help. What brings you both here today? Aiden asked. Hmm, this lady wants some of your famous cake, Arthur smirked. But his words were immediately refuted by Aunt Susie. Don't listen to his nonsense, little Aiden. He's the one who wanted cake, but he's embarrassed to come by himself, so he had to drag me along. Aiden rolled his eyes at the two and invited them into the restaurant before they started fighting about who really wanted cake. 